Okay, today we have a gunship Stranger Things inspired look going on. Specifically the song Rise of the Midnight Girl, which I believe is inspired by season two of Stranger Things. So see how we're gonna make it a full circle there? Yeah. This look though was done using the Through My Eyes palette by Karen and ColourPop. I really wanted to do a tutorial using the Through My Eyes palette because it's so beautiful. And I've had the song Rise of the Midnight Girl stuck in my head since I finished season three of Stranger Things. Just, <laughs> I don't know, it goes hand in hand to me. The retrofuturism and the nostalgia, especially them being in the mall and oh, Star Court and all that. I'm a sucker for a good 80s mall. I, I love malls. For one thing and I love watching like the Dead Mall series by Dan Bell on here <laughs> see that just kind of it was like a perfect of everything I love but anyway I've had the song stuck in my head <laughs> since then and when I hear music I see like color and immediately my brain goes to makeup because that's kind of how I express myself artistically yeah these are the kind of colors and everything I was seeing as I was hearing the music and I was like just putting things together like there's a little ideas just coming together and I was looking at the through my eyes palette we well, get yeah, the shades Davina and Flex really those two shades really called to me and I'm like yeah those are some midnight girl eyeshadows right anyway this is the look that I came up with kind of mixing warm and cool with the purple and then the shiny metallic taupe with the silver glitters on the lid and kind of did like a half cut crease situation I kind of did a big wing and on the lips, I also used a ColourPop collaboration with I Love Sorry, which is the shade Softy. And I topped it with a lip gloss from Wet n Wild just to kind of add some shine and sparkle in there. But yeah, I love the way this look came out. It's just very kind of fierce. Yeah, it's, it's badass glam is what I would call it. And it's kind of a look that I would definitely wear and go out. Like this is my kind of style right here. I love the using color but using a darker more moody way like I'm not into into like bright colors very often so this is more just in my kind of realm and yeah I think it came out really nice so if you want to see how I got this look and see close up follow along step by step just keep watching all zoomed in and ready to go see first tutorial in the new studio and hopefully <laughs> It goes well. Um, anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna take in a wink first on a flat, fluffy brush. I've already set my lids with some translucent powder. Underneath that, I have Too Faced Shadow Insurance and uh, a little bit of concealer to kind of cancel out everything, and then translucent powder over top to keep to prevent creasing because your girl creases real bad. These hooded eyes, it's gonna get all bunchy and creasy. First thing though, I'm going to go in with In A Week on that flat brush and just take that below the brow. Okay, just pull it in a little bit too. It's just a nice brow bone highlight. It's a very like bone shade. Okay, I'm going to take a large fluffy brush in the shade Nostalgia, which is like a dusty rose type of color. And I'm just going to take it on this fluffy Sony Kashuk brush and we're going to go right into the transition crease area. You're just going to build nostalgia up in the transition area. It's a nice warm dusty rose and it does build. It builds up pretty strongly. I'm going to pull it out a little bit. It's going to be a fairly smoky look. I'm trying to get kind of smoky and deep. Next, I'm going to take the shade Misbehave, which is the kind of berry wine color. I'm going to take it just below where we put nostalgia. I think uh, I'm going to start in the crease and kind of go up a little bit and see kind of how high I want to take it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm just going to put the popper right in there. Oh, that's a little more pink than I thought it would be. Mm. We'll make it work. Yeah, I'm just going to 
Tickling it back and forth, windshield wiper motions. And take a little more, kind of build it up. But yeah, I'm just taking this shade and relaxing my eyelid and diffusing it up into the nostalgia shade. We're going to diffuse the edges of that with nostalgia. I'm going to deepen up this behave a little bit more. I'm just very softly, like I'm barely touching my eyelid. Just tickling that shade along and diffusing it into nostalgia. And pulling out. And taking nostalgia around those edges. Making sure everything's very diffused and soft. Your blown out feeling. Alright, next I'm going to take the shade Divina on that same little Morphe M562. And I'm going to bring it a little more concentrated in here and see how that does. <laughs> see how it comes out. Kind of just letting that flow into misbehave. Just gonna tilt my head back and everything's blending how I want it to. And because I have hooded lids, I have to relax my eyes to make sure that the color is still gonna be visible and blended beyond my crease. Okay, I think I'm gonna do like a half cut crease with um, some concealer. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the CoverGirl undercover concealer. I'm gonna cut right into here, just halfway. You see when I relax my lid, it just eats that. So what I'm gonna do is take it a little higher These were kind of mapped it out a little bit. I'm basically giving myself a whole new crease by taking this a little, quite a bit higher. Because this is actually more following like the actual socket of my eye around the uh, brow bone, or under, just underneath the brow bone. Keep building that up. If you're new to doing cut creases, I would recommend just starting like this. Just try and do a half one. And practicing, it gets easier every time you do it. And like, this part doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it and clean it up. Don't worry. Yeah, I know cut creases can be really tricky if you have hooded lids like I do. And essentially you just want to relax your lid and try to make sure you go up to where it's visible. Obviously you don't have to, but it's going to hide your work. Because that's the point. And it just will open your eye and make it appear a little bit bigger. Or not a little bit, but quite a bit bigger. What I'm going to do now is take Divina on that Morphe brush once again and just soften this outer corner and right into the crease. Or that new crease that we created anyway. Just to really make sure that it's dark <laughs> and defined. I'm also kind of softening the, the line so it's not so harsh. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of really harsh lines. Next, I'm going to take a flat brush and the shade called Flex, which is just oh so stunning. It, 
I'm gonna take it onto the lid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what I was looking for. Like this color just drew me in as soon as I saw it in the palette. Like as soon as I swatched it, I was like, holy shit, that's beautiful. pencil brush like this and I'm gonna go back into Davina and just right here and just marry it into the shimmer Time to finish up this eyeshadow. I went ahead and did a wing liner and did my concealer foundation setting powder. Got a little bit extra bake under here. Not too much, just a little bit in case we have some fallout. Just kind of nice and softly blown out. We're gonna take that on a little short packer brush here. It's kind of stained yellow <laughs> from the Uh Huh Honey palettes. We're just Scoot along here. I'm gonna blend it kind of low. Kind of just contour that eye bag. You know. Okay, I'm gonna take Davina, which is that deepest purple, and run it closer to the lash line. Oh, I really like the combination of these two shades. Like, honestly, I could have lived out using uh, Misbehave in this look and just went in with these two. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do the inner corner highlight. And for that, I want to use Written in the Stars Loose Highlighter by Wet n Wild. It's very glittery, shimmery. Just, ugh. It's so pretty. I'm going to take that on this little same packer on our brush. Right in this inner corner. And just pat it on. I mean, look at that shine. <laughs> this is... Such a beautiful highlighter. Yeah, I mean, look at that glow. Kind of kind of pull it just right in here. Tuck it into the, as um, Melissa Ashley says, the flappy fold. I got that flappy fold, I know. So I'm gonna tuck it right into that. Just really lighten up that inner corner. Bam. That's beautiful. I. Man, this is one of the most beautiful highlighters. <laughs> I think it's the only like loose highlighter I've ever really liked. I've had a couple here and there, but I've never really been a fan of them. This one, mm. Mm. I'm gonna take a little bit of Fenty uh, Diamond Balm. So this is, yeah, Diamond Balm, how many carrots? I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the inner corner as well, just to really get that sparkle in there. Now I'm gonna go tight line and do mascara and some finishing touches and we'll be right back for the finished eye. Okay, and here's the eye finished with some mascara. I tightlined the upper waterline with NARS Via Veneto. The uh, lower waterline is uh, NYX Wonder Pencil. I, yeah, and uh, mascara is Lash Paradise. Yeah, this is the uh, finished eye. What do you guys think? I think it came out really pretty.
Yeah, this is the look I created that was inspired by the gunship song Rise of the Midnight Girl and Season 2 of Stranger Things. <laughs> They're kind of intermingled because the song is inspired by Season 2 and Eleven goes through her like dark phase there and I was like, yeah, I was feeling that even though I just watched Season 3. I should be doing something based on that because, I mean, the girl had the wardrobe going. I love the montage of her going to gear new outfits and everything in the glamour shots. It was so cute. I love that show so much. It just gets me in the feels, makes me like feel warm and fuzzy inside. And I don't find it like a scary show, I find it kind of a comforting show. I feel like season three was kind of funny too, like it had a lot of like cute parts. It wasn't as serious as season one until that end. No oh, hop. Hop. I hope he's the American. I really do hope that he's the American and he just got like shot through a portal or something. <laughs> anyway, that's enough about Stranger Things. On the lip, I have the ColourPop collab with I, I Heart Sari. Or it was, yeah. I love Sari. I'm oh, sorry. I keep, messed, I keep butchering that girl's name. It's a collab with Karen. <laughs> this is the Ultra Matte Lip Cream and Softy, which. I remember seeing that girl Shay swatch this and I was just like, oh, oh, I need that color and it went in the cart back when this first came out. So I think this has been out a little while. I don't know if it's still available or not, but it's just a pretty like deep kind of raisin color. I love those types of shades, but you know what? I think I'm going to top it with Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Lip Gloss in Vertigo. Virgo, Virgo. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> it's the kitchen of marbles. Y'all got me in a Virgo, and I'm a Capricorn. I feel like Virgos and Capricorns have a lot in common. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this just on the uh, center part of the lips, just to add a little shine to tie into the eyes. And that's the lip finished. I think that looks really good. I like those two layered together. Yeah, uh, for highlight, I used Wet n Wild written in the stars like we did on the inner corner and Diamond Bomb on top, which I don't think was necessary, but I did it anyway just because extra. <laughs> and yeah, finished off with uh, some setting spray. Yeah, I wanted this look to be kind of a rocker, chic, badass type of look. Kind of what I would picture when I hear the song Rise of the Midnight Girl. <laughs> This is the look I picture to go with that song. Like, this is the Midnight Girl. But yeah, if you enjoyed following along with me and are a fan of Gunship or Stranger Things or you like music inspired looks, just give me a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And yeah, suggest some other music and bands you would like to see things inspired by our shows. I'm kind of open to all of that. I, but yeah, I will see you guys on the other side. Bye now.